Okay, we're on lesson 12, video two, and we're gonna look at the first three problems, so make sure you're with us on the magnifying glass of lesson 12. 28 and 5 sevenths minus six. So I have 28 and 5 sevenths pizzas, and I'm giving six of them away. I can just take my 5 sevenths and put it on the side, right? And then I'm still going to have it after I give my 6 away because I'm starting with a mixed number and taking away a whole number, right? So I basically just have to do 28 minus 6. Some of you can do that in your head. Some of you might need to write it down. That is fine. 28 minus 6 is 22. And I still have the 5 sevenths because I didn't give five sevenths of the pizza away. Okay, so whole number minus whole number, bring the fraction along. Only when I'm starting with a mixed number and subtracting a whole number. Okay, make sure you have that written down. And let's go to the next one. Next page for me, but for you, it's just number two. 7 minus 3 and 2 sevenths. Now, what do we notice that's different here? We're starting with a whole number and subtracting a mixed number. So I am giving away the 2 sevenths this time, and I'm starting with 7. So I can break my 3 and 2 sevenths into two parts. We'll do a number bond here, 3 and 2 sevenths. And like we said in the last video, there's a couple different ways to do it. I'm going to start with subtracting my whole numbers, 7 minus 3. So let's write that over here so that you have the steps, subtracting the whole numbers. 7 minus 3 is 4, right? So basically I have 7 pizzas, I'm giving away 3 pizzas, that leaves me with 4 pizzas. But I'm also giving away 2 sevenths for whatever reason. So now I have to take what's left from my whole numbers and subtract my two sevenths. Four minus two sevenths, okay? So there's a couple different ways to think about it. You could use centimeter blocks. You could draw a picture. Let's see, one, two, three, four. There's my four, right? and I'm taking away two sevenths. So that means I need to break it into seven parts. One, two, three, four, five, six lines make seven parts, and I'm taking away two sevenths. So I'm taking away one seventh, I'm taking away two sevenths. So basically I have seven sevenths, right? That would be one whole and I'm taking away two of them. So seven sevenths minus two sevenths, that leaves five sevenths. And you can see it right there, one, two, three, four, five sevenths are left. So four minus two sevenths is gonna leave me with three, because I still have my three, and five sevenths, okay? Could you also doing the counting up method that we talked about, the number line, or use a number line to subtract, you certainly could. All right, excellent job. Make sure you have this written down in your book. If you don't, pause me now, because I'm gonna erase it right now. Okay, and let's look at one more problem. All right, number three, 15 minus six and five eighths. So here we have a whole number minus a mixed number. So once again, this is the more complicated one, right? If that's a way for you to think about it, we're going to break our six and three eighths into six and three eighths, just kind of separate them out and make sure that we use both of those parts. Now we can do 15 minus six and take care of our whole numbers, right? I have 15 pizzas. I'm giving away six and three eighths pizzas. 15 minus six is nine. Now I still have to give away the 3 eighths. So I'm going to do 9 minus 3 eighths. Okay. 
Another way you could think about it is um, I have eight, right? And eight eighths, because eight eighths would be the same as one, right? So eight and eight eighths would be the same as nine. Do you see that? Eight and eight eighths is equal to nine. And then I'm gonna take away my three eighths, right? This would be similar to drawing the pictures. Um, and breaking the last one into eighths. Eight eighths minus three eighths is five eighths. So that would give me eight and five eighths. Yeah? Okay. Um, let's just try a number line. Um, let's start at 15. And we're going to be taking away six. We already know we're going to end up at nine, right? And we're taking away eighths. So we don't have to draw everything in here. In fact, maybe we should let's see if we can erase. Yes. I was just thinking we could make our nine a little bit closer. There. Okay, so that's 15 minus six equals nine, and then nine minus three eighths. Okay, so break this into eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines makes eighths. We're at nine. We're gonna take away three. One, two, three. Where do we land? We land at five eighths. So we have eight and five eighths, just like we do right here. Okay. If you're interested in some of those other methods, you can try some of them. You can ask me about them. Um, you know, there's a lot of different ways to subtract. So give it a shot. The main thing that we learned in this lesson was if we have a whole number first and we're subtracting a mixed number, it's going to be a little more complicated because we have to make sure we subtract the fraction. Make sure you have this. Copy down or pause me now because I'm going to erase it. But if we start with a mixed number, then we can just put that extra fraction on the side and add it back into our answer. Right? Okay. If you have any questions, come and ask me. That is the last video for lesson 12. Only two videos. All right. Thanks a lot.